I'm here with Kelly Prather, who's um, getting getting ready to uh, have an, uh, take her horse, uh, D.A. Duras, to um, Lelion in October to do the seven-year-old World Championships, which is run as a um, CCI two-star, um, probably the the toughest two-star in the world. Um, Kelly, tell me about tell me about that, and tell me about your horse. D.A. Duras is owned by Debbie Adams and Tony. Um, they purchased him in Holland. He's a Dutch warm blood. Um, he's got a bit of thoroughbred in him, which is nice. He's a phenomenal jumper, a real trier. Um, Debbie actually rode him as a young horse. She brought him over as a four-year-old, rode him in the Young Event Horse uh, Championships at Fair Hill as a five-year-old. So that'd be two years ago. Um, and placed well there. And I started riding him in the winter of his six-year-old year and started him out at the preliminary level. Been riding him ever since. Uh, he's done two two stars now. He ran Fair Hill as a six-year-old and was super. Had eight time penalties, I think, which went above my expectations. We took him around as thought I'd just let him get the experience. Um, he's a phenomenal horse to have done that. We went to Bromont and jumped around double clear. And so he is now, because of the Young Event Horse Championships at Fair Hill, he won a grant to go to the World Championships in France at Lyon. So it's very, very exciting. Uh, no American horse has ever traveled over to that. So we're pretty, pretty excited. And he's, you know, a phenomenal young horse. Debbie imports the Dutch horses and likes to produce some. So it's pretty exciting for them and for me to get a trip overseas to do that. Uh, he's a phenomenal horse. and phenomenal jumper so I'm pretty excited it's a 10 minute track which is pretty challenging for a young seven-year-old uh, but I have all the confidence in the world that he'll jump around he's yeah he's a heart of gold <laughs> yeah he sounds like a real horse for the future for you yeah. he is he is he, he he's got a phenomenal jump he gallops well he's he's a very very cool horse I'm very lucky to be sitting on him and you've got a couple other horses going this weekend you've got um uh, truly Wildly in the three star and a prelim horse as well. Yep, a uh, little prelim horse that Debbie and Tony actually own as well. Uh, he's Dutch and he started his eventing career a little bit later. Um, he's run a one star and he'll be looking to move up and run a two star here soon. And then Truly Wiley is a horse that I got as a two year old, bred by Bruce Davidson Sr. Um, He's had, you know, he had a year off when I was gone in England. So he's he's pretty young as an eight year old to be to be at the level uh, due to his just, I haven't done that much with him, two years of competition. And uh, he's a phenomenal jumper. Um, you know, he just, just green. So he's out here jumping around, getting experience. And uh, the Lillian is the same weekend as Fair Hill, which would be the aim for Truly Wiley. But due to the fact that we have a chance to go over there, Wiley will probably sit Fair Hill out if, if all works out. You never know. <laughs> uh, we have the op maybe the opportunity of going out to Galway, which is two weeks later after Fairhill would be and Lillian is. So we'll we'll see. If he has to sit out and wait for, for next year to run two more three stars, it wouldn't be the end of the world for him as he's only a young horse and he'll benefit from the experience. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, best of luck to you on all of your horses this weekend and, um, and uh, we'll be following you. Thank you.